the process of turning Astro Boy from a 2D design, and really a beautiful 2D design, it's a design icon, into a 3D character was quite challenging. We wanted to make a character that you could really believe in. It had to sustain your interest for 90 minutes, and for that reason, it had to be able to make realistic um, expressions, and it had to be flexible enough that, you know, with Freddy's terrific performance, that all the acting can come through. So he's a little more realistic than he has looked in previous incarnations of the character. When I started this movie, and we were looking at the original manga, and we were looking at the original TV shows, um, people always laughed when the butt guns came up. And there was, a, there was an element of, oh, well, obviously, we're not going to be doing those. We're not going to be doing those. And I said, are you crazy? They're the best one. They're the best thing. So we've got butt guns in this movie. The key to making this movie a good movie was to have a really, really strong emotional story. I wanted you to feel for Astro as he goes through his adventure. I wanted you to, you know, to feel sorry for him and to be behind him and to cheer for him when he, you know, comes through. So that's why I sort of focused on the father-son relationship. It's 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 a very satisfying story and it's quite difficult and it's quite it's quite dark at times. But I think once. I finally hammered out the emotional spine of the story. It was very, very easy then to hang on it, all the action adventure and all the comedy and all the spectacle and all the, all the new characters.